Hello darlings, for today's video, I'll be creating a Lisa Frank inspired Halloween look. To get into character, I'm first popping on these new Eurus Nebula Violet contact lenses by Pinky Paradise. Next, I'm priming my face with the Laura Geller Hydrating Spackle Primer. After that, I'm getting started on my brows. For the first brow, I'm using the Sigma Brow Pomade in Dark and filling it in with the Sigma E75 brush. Then, I'm cleaning up the top edge of that brow with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1. Next, I'm cleaning up the lower edge of it with the P. Louise Base in 0.5 and also dragging that down onto my eyelid and tapping it in to act as my eyeshadow primer for later. For my other brow, I'm using the Pixi Prettiest Pink Matte Last Liquid Lipstick on the Bodyography Brow Brush. I'm also applying some of the Measurable Difference Pink Matte Lip Cream to make it the shade of pink that I want. Next, I'm cleaning up the upper and lower edges of that brow with the Makeup Revolution Concealer. Now it's time for the fun part where I play with face paints. I'm using the Water Activated Paints by Mayron Makeup. This is their Paradise AQ Basic Palette, which is only about $30 on Amazon. To activate the paint, I'll be spritzing it with some MAC Fix Plus. Also, I'd just like to mention that this is my first time working with face paint, so I'm just doing my best to see what works and having fun while playing with it, so don't mind any of the weird facial expressions that I'm making while applying it. I'm going to be applying the paint to half of my face, so I'm first applying the red to the areas shown. I'm just using a variety of random brushes that I don't particularly care about to apply the paints, because I don't want to ruin any of my favorite brushes. Now to create a pink, which is depicted in Lisa Frank's artwork, I'm taking the white and placing it on the red. You'll notice that I'm switching brushes several times, and this is just so that I don't mix up the colors in the palette. After blending that white into the red to create the pink, I'm applying the blue as a defining line separating the two sides of my face. Next, I'm taking the brush that still has some pink left on it and blending it on top of the blue to create a purple shade. I'm also applying that blue shade onto the hollow of my cheek as I would if I was contouring. Next, I'm applying the yellow to the blank area on that side of my face, and then I'm applying the orange in between the yellow and the darker shades, and as I blend, you can see everything coming together and forming a nice gradient. To 
finish up the colorful painting, I'm taking this small brush by Royal and Langnickel and applying the yellow around my eye area and then defining the blue some more with a brush from Perfusion. <laughs> Now for the mouth area, I'm using a brush from Amazon and applying the white in the spot between my nose and upper lip and fanning the product out so that it mimics the appearance of fur. Now for the tip of my nose, I'm adding some red and white to create a pink, and once that's blended, I'm applying the black to create the Lisa Frank cheetah style nose. I'm also blending the edge of that so that the black flows into the pink. Next, I'm drawing a line down the center of my cupid's bow and then adding little dots for the whiskers. Yeah. Now for the last step in the face painting process, I'm adding the cheetah print onto the upper part of the area that I painted. Hurt me did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with than without you Oh To set the face paint, I'm patting on some baby powder and dusting off the excess As you can see, if you rub the paint, it doesn't come off. Now I'm moving on to my other eye and applying eyeshadow from the Morphe and James Charles palette. I'm just using the same colors that are on the other side of my face, so I'm first applying this pink shade called Skip to my crease. Next, I'm taking the M562 brush by Morphe and sweeping this orange shade called 518 along the upper edge of the pink. Every time, whatever it is, I keep on trying. Cause it ain't hard to forget. You know Using the same brush, I'm now applying the yellow shade called B along the top edge of the orange. Next, I'm applying a mix of the purple shade called Escape and the royal blue shade called Cola onto the lid beneath the pink. Now it's time to apply some face makeup to this side of my face. First, I'm applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 140 in 
which is a little dark for me. I'm carefully applying this right along the edge of the face paint and then grabbing a small brush to really sharpen that line up. For concealer, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C1 and then I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay Ultimate Setting Powder in Fair. For contour, I'm using the Maybelline City Bronzer in 300 and adding some depth and dimension by applying it to the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, and forehead. For highlight, I'm taking this shade called Ambrosia from the Sigma Chroma Glow Palette and applying it to the high point of my cheek, above my brow, and in the inner corner of my eye. For blush, I'm applying the Sigma Nymphaea Aura Face Powder and then I'm adding some eyeshadow to my lower lash line by once again applying the shades Cola, Escape, Skip, 518, and B to create a nice gradient effect so that it's darker the closer it is to my lashes. Now for eyeliner, I'm drawing on a fierce wing with a pointed inner corner on both sides using the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Sorry if it focuses on the product rather than the application, I upgraded my camera and I'm still getting used to the autofocus. Next I'm applying the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and then I'm popping on these lashes by Gold Crown in the style Devilish. I'm now adding some of the Sigma Black Eyeliner to my upper and lower water lines and buffing out the lower so that it's extra smudged out. Next I'm finishing up the eyes with mascara and finally it's time for lips. I'm first applying the Pixi Matte Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Prettiest Pink, which is what I used on my brow, and then I'm adding a little bit of the Measurable Difference Pink Lip Cream to the center. And that completes the Lisa Frank inspired look. Let me know what you're thinking about dressing up for Halloween in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!